It's Bike Fishing Friday, and you can tell because I'm wearing a fishing hat instead of a bike-related hat. And today we're gonna to review a game-changing product uh, for those anglers that like to pedal to their fishing destinations, and that is the Handy Pack Instanet. I've got two versions to, to talk about. Uh, find out what I think about these products in this video. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers. And if you're new to the channel, if you're looking for information and inspiration around bike travel, bike packing, and bike fishing, then definitely subscribe. This channel is for you. So last week, the folks over at Handy Pack Net Company sent over two of their nets for me to review. And uh, I've used it a bunch in that time on the bike, netting a bunch of fish, and I'm ready to gather all my thoughts and feelings and share them with you. So jumping right in, if you're not familiar with the Handy Pack Net Company, they're actually based in the US and they've been making these nets uh, in the United States since 1955. They offer a wide range of models. They're all essentially the same, but the materials kind of change between the heavier wood models and the lighter uh, plastic models. Uh, the bags on the nets also change from kind of a nylon to a ghost netting. And the nets vary in price from $20, which is super affordable, to kind of the more premium offering, which has a wood handle and the ghost netting and a leather sheath for about $60. If you've never used one of these nets, deploying it is really easy. You just pull out the sheath, give it a little bit of a shake, and the uh, net springs open. You definitely want to do this pointing away from your face so it doesn't smack you in the head. To close the net is a little bit trickier. So first I'm going to demonstrate how to do it without the net in my hand so it doesn't get confusing. You essentially want to twist your hands so you form a figure eight in the net. And at that point where uh, the figure eight touches, you want to bring your hands together. At a certain point when you're bringing your hands together, you're gonna to feel the steel band uh, kind of relax and collapse. So now I'm gonna show you how to do it with the net in hand. Again, you wanna twist so it forms a figure eight. Just before it touches, you wanna to bring your hands together and you're gonna feel the band suddenly relax and you wanna gather the net material uh, together so it fits neatly in the sheath. It can be a little bit complicated seeming at first, but with some practice, uh, it, it's actually really easy to do. So like I mentioned, the net comes in a variety of colors and in materials. I have two of the nets here, one in pink for breast cancer awareness, and the other is their kind of more heritage version with a wood handle and the ghost netting and le leather sheath. The primary difference between the two is size and weight. The composite net weighs in at about eight ounces, so about half a pound, and the wood version weighs in at about 15 ounces, so just under a pound. So definitely if weight is a concern for you, then go with the composite net. Size is also a big factor. The composite nets are definitely more packable in that respect. Another big consideration is the handle. The handle on the composite net is smaller and it's a little bit more curved, so it fits a little bit better in your hand. And the handle on the wood net is a little bit bigger and it's a little bit more angular as well. So it's better suited if you've got larger hands or gloves. Personally for me, it works okay, but I think I might actually wrap the wooden handle in either some old inner tube or some handlebar tape just to make it a little bit more ergonomic. In terms of the netting capability of net, they are more than capable uh, for those small to mid-sized rivers and creeks. Once you get the fish in there, they are clear of the steel band, so you don't have to worry about harming the fish with the steel hoop. So that's it for the features overview. I'm gonna go into what I like and dislike about these nets. First big like is that it's super portable, more so than any other net I've tried. Uh, it's so small, you can stick it inside uh, a frame bag if you have a large enough frame bag, but it'll definitely fit easy in a pannier or a backpack. Another big like is that this is a US-based company. If you buy one of these nets, you're supporting a company that's been around since 1955 here in the United States. Another big like is that they're just cool to use. I mean, you whip it out on the river and people are gonna turn their heads wanting to try that themselves. Uh, so if you're into kind of unique, innovative products, then definitely check out this net. Another big like is the option to have ghost netting in such a small and packable net. Usually you don't see this kind of bag on the net until you get to a larger and more expensive net. To my knowledge, this is the only portable folding net that gives you the option for uh, ghost netting material. 
So that's it for the likes. There's a lot to like about the net, but there are a couple of dislikes or things that I hope they'll change in the future. So the first dislike is that although they offer the ghost netting uh, with the larger uh, wood handle, it would be cool if they offered it in the composite handle as well. I feel in that way you would get best of both worlds. You'd get the lightweight, more ergonomic uh, handle for smaller hands and the better net bag. And diving deep a little bit more into the handles on the wooden handle version, it is beautiful, it is a pleasure to hold, but it's big. And to my hand, I feel like the edge is a little bit on the uh, sharper end. I'd love to see a little bit more rounded uh, finish on the handle. And the one last dislike, it's not really a dislike, but there is a little bit of a learning curve uh, in folding the net. I hope by giving you the point of view perspective and the way I explained it, it'll take that dislike away. So I almost forgot to mention that the sheaths on both the nets have slots to put on your belt with the intention that uh, you would wear it while you're fishing and constantly deploy uh, the net as you caught fish. The way I find that I'm using it the most is to transport it in the sheath in a pannier or a backpack. And when I get to the river, I actually just fully deploy it and tuck it into the belt uh, by the handle, fully deployed. So, so far I am really, really enjoying this net. Uh, I've seen pictures of it online, uh, videos of it online, and it doesn't really do it justice in terms of how cool the net actually is to, to use in your hand. And what's great about the net is that there are several price points, so you can have a cool net without breaking the bank. So I know the holidays are still a ways off, but if you've got a spouse, a partner, or a friend that's into uh, fly fishing and biking or doing both, uh, I feel like this would make the perfect uh, stocking stuffer. I mean, you might be able to literally stuff it in their stocking. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions about the Handy Pack Net, uh, leave those in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.